is uh, one of my projects in Singapore. It's a uh, university building. <laughs> Says you are here. That's from another talk. Um, <laughs> but that's the NTU, the Technical University in Singapore. And it's a campus of 30,000 students. It's called the uh, Campus in Green. So uh, that's because it is extremely green and it's, it's, it's a really nice campus, but it was designed back in, it, it was uh, started in the 50s and um, some of these buildings uh, designed by Kim Sotani in, in the 80s and it hasn't developed that much since. So now they've got a, a massive scheme of regenerating this university. And part of this is uh, about teaching. Uh, now, here's our site. And if you look at the typical building uh, in the university, you've got these long corridors without windows, without lights, and you can look into the classrooms. They don't always have windows, and, and in there, the idea was that you sit in rows in your box and, and you take notes and you learn from the master. Now, they would like to change that in Singapore because if it's been like this for, for many years, and of course it's worked, but it's, it's time to different ways and introducing working in groups and I'll be something different as well because people can study everywhere now. It's not like you need a big library. You've got the internet and here uh, this is from the university but they're studying in the car park and that was actually really nice because it's always like 30 degrees but here you've got a, a breeze coming through. Um, of course a bit of pollution as well so it's about time that they have a, a learning hub and that's what we were asked to give them. Now this is a 12,000 uh, square meter building with 60 classrooms um, and it's meant to be about working in groups and it will be the first building that kind of unifies the whole campus because the campus is split up so you've got uh, engineering this end, you've got art that end and it's, it's a huge campus so the art students would never meet the engineers and this is the first time they work because in this building we would have 60 classrooms where um, they were started together. Now we thought, if, if, you, if you want to do something different to sitting in rows in your square box and you sit around these round tables, maybe we do round rooms and each of these rooms should be unique. So when, when you're in your classroom, you know it's your classroom or you can say, I would like this classroom because you can book them. It's it's a 24 hour uh, building and um, you can book them for whatever you like. So here you've got one level of uh, classrooms and the toilet as the building and the structure, which of course is quite important. And this is the uh, circulation room where we have um, an atrium in the middle, a little bit of balconies at the sides. And I'll show you a bit more about it later. But you've actually got natural ventilation in the atrium. Um, so you've got a, a stack effect. Now the, the concept from the beginning was that the students should connect. So therefore, all the, all the classrooms are facing each other. Uh, and they've got this atrium between them. Very idealistic maybe, and maybe not very idealistic. We thought the beginning we could do without glass. So you could just like see each other, walk in, walk out and study in that way. But the professor said, like, stop. We, we're not going to do that. It's good that we can work in groups, but we need to have some place. So, um, we thought, you've got to round the classroom, but we can't round the four rounded glass, curved glass. And if you can facet it glass, it just, it just looks like it, it tries to be curved. So we thought, maybe we'd introduce zigzag glazing. So this is what we've got here. So all of these partitions are zigzagging. Also because the, the craftsmanship in Singapore is not always that good. And they can't basically get this wrong because they're zigzagging. Um, finally, you've got the balconies. And this is also about the ventilation, but also views out. So it's mainly a building that looks in on itself, and this is just a quick lecture hall. This is the eight stories, and um, a garden on the top. And this is what it looks like. 
So I really decided to be my like that. Um, and, and this was only one and a half years ago, in March, that we designed this. We thought it's probably going to be back in the year quite a lot. But um, let's see if, if we can build something unique. Uh, and the amazing thing is that it's on site now, and it hasn't been that in the at all. We actually had the chance of, of um, working with some fine materials as, as fossil bones and, um, and form and line up with something. Something I'll tell you about in a moment. So, this building comes up on the green mark, the, the platinum green mark award, which is the highest award you can get in Singapore. And um, this is because we got a so called uh, induction system. But here you can see the stack. Uh, stack effect and the natural ventilation in the corridor. This is the, the atrium. Now, what you notice now, maybe, is that all of these columns are at different angles. So, when we worked with the uh, engineers in Singapore, they said that's it, because we forget about it. And we're like, ah, maybe we just pay for our friends at Eric to do a little model again. So, they did a uh, Amazing model. This is one of the columns. It's just a, a section which sticks together. And, um, oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I had slides there. 3D model. One of the 3D models that can tell you where it goes wrong and where it doesn't. And they, we, sent, we received that, took that back to Singapore and said it can be done. So let's get started. Um, and, and it's actually going to look like this. We're on the second story now. And you can see the six that place. So, so you walk from the outside, you're outdoor, and you walk into the classroom. And we kept it quiet. We, we didn't want to spend a lot of money on that, hiding all the mechanical equipment. Once because we're a little bit proud of the uh, award, the uh, um, platinum. Award, because you can see what's called uh, an induction system. Now this is instead of uh, normal air conditioning. And then you can see how the classrooms are built into the uh, atrium, but glazing around the building. It's actually quite a closed building with the outside because of heat gain. Um, but you can see this machine up here that goes all the way around the walls. Now that's instead of having a normal air conditioning unit that blows cold air at you. Uh, this is an aircon wall. So the way it works is um, that it's it's passive deployed displacement ventilator. So you've got the chiller up here. Now we love it because up the up wall up here it's 30 degrees, 31 degrees, and we would like it to be something like 22, 23 in here. So you don't need to cool it that much. But they just stack a lot of aircon units in all buildings um, in Singapore and I think it's very hard, so it's kind of bad enough. But now we've been working on this system where you just have two walls running on these grills all the way around the walls and the wall is full of So when this, this air gets cold, it just falls down. It comes down by your feet. And the way it works, and I'm not a scientist, but the way it works is it goes to the warmest point, which is you. And that's a very pleasant way to be cool, instead of having it blown into you. And there's no engines, there's no motors, there's no electricity. You just need to take it eight degrees down. So that was, that was really uh, a great part of this building as well. So part of this platform. Uh, and here you can see some of the uh, six act windows on the uh, facade. Now I can talk forever, but I'm not going to. So I've just shown a few members. We are doing the facade right now. That's a prefect facade made by some kind of concrete artist. Uh, he's very excited about it. And he's the opposite of most of our contractors. He's like, we can do another mug up. We're like, it's okay. We can have it, but we can try more. Uh, where the other contractors are like, we don't need mug ups, we just build it. And you can see a bit of the roof, it's, it's covered, but it's fully open. Uh, and, and the ground floor is fully open as well. And now we're going to go in through where we've got the above. We've got the six-act gate on the ground floor as well. Going into 
the edge of it, which of course moves inwards and outwards, and all the curves are unique. So that's cast in situ and, and, and hand-built edges. Um, we've been very lucky that uh, we've been able to do that. And you end up in the classroom. It does have a lot of kit, but it's pretty kit. And, and this is where we are uh, today. Actually, no, three days ago, I just got back two days ago. Um, and this is on the second floor, and you can see some slanting columns. And what we've done with the columns, I mean, oh, here we go. You can see 80 columns basically going in different directions because the building works as one big ring beam. The columns are pushing upwards, and the ring beam holds it together. And we know it works because we've got one of these. And this was what Arabs did. They did a, a, a little report and said, it can be done. And that was all we needed. Now, now we've got slanting columns on, we would also like to try to do something more with columns because concrete columns, like off, off form concrete, can be a little bit brutalist. And we thought if we give it a nice stuff pattern, that, that would make them even friendlier. And we designed that in, in, in 3D, send it to um, we actually worked with a, with a company. Um, uh, um, we sent it to be a CNC cut. So they CNC cut an MDFC, and then they cast the PU rubber form onto that, and finally they put that into the steel uh, form work. And of course, during every phase, everybody said, We can't do that, it's not possible, we can't, we can't be done, we can't be done. It's the first time it's ever been done. Uh, as a color, um, and then we can't, we can't calculate that. But let me go to clever guys, in the or maybe it's just easier there. And uh, can you see a few of them? So this is the this is the curvy shape. See how they're, they're slanting a bit. Now we thought this is really interesting that you can take rubber, well, put it into form work, relatively cheap, and, and create concrete that's quite exciting. Uh, so we spoke to this uh, Italian artist called Sarah Fanelli. We worked with her before and, and she's amazing. We said we do these small structured cores and um, we managed to, to get them uh, put some pigment in so they got a nice red warm color. But we would like to do a bit more. Could you help us? Could you do drawings that says Singapore University Life? Um, and then she came back with hundreds of drawings, actually um, 500, and um, we started working with what you like, put the best together, and how do you put them together, and how do you put them together so they actually can create, become um, form work for this wall, now this wall is 4 meters tall, and then the artwork is 12 meters long, the quality here is not really that good, but we took it into um, 3D, Created 3D shapes. Now that sounds easy. I mean, it does. Uh, it was um, lovely. I had to find uh, to do, do it, and then they did it. And here you can see how it actually works. This is a, a low bearing structural core with Sarah's artwork. Of course, it was a collaboration between Sarah and Thomas because Thomas said, "Oh, I kind of like them." And um, the uh, university also said, like, oh no, that one is devilish. Okay, kind of devils at the university. Mm -hmm. And here's one of our six act walls, because if you can have six act walls, six act walls. And um, the lift is. And oh, this is the final image. One of our things about the format was to, to create something interesting in the uh, escape route, in, in the, in the stair core. So now the stair core is a really interesting place to walk down where you can see the art, instead of it just being a grey, cold core. And also to get people to use the stairs a bit more, because we only got four, three lifts, we got a lot of stairs, and then um, now they're great. And we started one and a half years ago, we had the stairs started now, so we've been busy and we still are. And, uh, Thank you very much for having me